With cold winter weather, nothing's worse than a car heater that doesn't work. You turn the heater on full blast, but no hot air comes out. Well, then it's time to get under the hood and check out what went wrong. So let's pop it open and see what's wrong. Now the first thing to check is to see if your coolant is low. So take off the cap and look inside. Now if the coolant's low, put in some new coolant. But with all the different kinds of coolants out in modern day cars, how do you know which one to use? Well, I use Peak Global Lifetime Antifreeze, and that's because, as you can see, it's good for all makes and models. I don't have to worry about getting the wrong kind. Well, the reason new antifreeze can make your heater work is simple. The heater core that puts heat out is high up in the car, and if you're low on coolant, the heater core won't have any coolant in it, and you won't get hot air. But if your radiator is full of coolant, you might have a bad thermostat causing you to have no heat. If you find that your temperature gauge is always running really low, you probably have a bad thermostat. These little thermostats can stick open and then you'll never get any heat because the engine won't get hot enough. But thermostats are pretty easy to replace. Just follow the main radiator hose and then this Toyota goes under the distributor and there's the bolts that hold the thermostat on. There's only two bolts, one here and one here. You take them off and the thermostat housing comes out and you put a new one in. But let's say the car's running at a normal temperature but you still don't have heat. Well then check the heater control valve. The heater control valves are usually by the firewall. In the Toyota, it's right here. You should see the valve move when you turn the heat on, like this. If you don't see it move, then either the heater control valve is broken, or the controls aren't working, and in a pinch, you can just pull the cable off and move it manually to get heat. But let's say you tried all that, and you still don't have any heat. Well then, with the engine running, there's a heater hose going to the heater here, and another heater hose down here. Touch them with your hands, and if you find one is warm and one isn't warm, that means the heater core is clogged up. Now heater cores can be really expensive to replace, so here's a mechanic's trick. And I already have it hooked up on this Toyota, so I'll show you. You hook up a heater flush kit to the top heater hose, then you unscrew the top, then screw on a garden hose, then get a screwdriver and remove the lower hose to the heater, then turn on the water. That can flush all the crud out of your heater and it might start working again. I've done this many times and it often works. So now you know how to stay warm and toasty on those cold winter nights. And if you have any car care questions, just go to scottykilmer.com and I'll answer them all free.